Hey guys, so today we are going to be trying out the LA Colors Jelly Glam Metallic Eye Color. I had gotten this when I placed an order from LA Colors, and that's what it looks like. This is the shade Lush, I believe. Yes, Lush. And I figured I would do a full face get ready with me video and uh, tell you about my trip to the urologist yesterday. Um, so I just applied LA Colors Sunday Lip Balm in cookie dough. You know, I have one of these in pineapple and I'll be damned if I can find it. I have scoured the house like my bags, um, tables, any place where I may have set it down and I cannot find that other lip balm. There's nothing worse than losing something, you know, when you're just looking everywhere for something. Pardon me. <laughs> Gotta stay hydrated. I've never drank as much water in my life as I have been the last um, week or so. All right, we're going to start with the e.l.f. Liquid Poreless Putty Primer. I have put a severe dent in this. It's up to there, so there's not that much left in this. I'm doing good um, going through my products. The, the best way to use up a product is to just use that one thing and not jump around to different things. So it's kind of easy to use up primers if you use the same one every day. This just has such a nice feel to it. And it blends so much easier than like the balm type ones that they have. I mean, not that those are difficult to blend. It's just Liquid is always going to be easier. Okay, and the next thing I usually go in with is my corrector, which is the NYX Pro Fix Stick in uh, pink. I noticed that when this hit the stores, because I ordered this when it first first came out from the NYX website, but I noticed that when this hit the stores, it went quickly. So I guess a lot of people were excited about um, having access to a pink corrector, because you really don't see those that often. And if you have fair or light skin, this is a really good color. Yeah, it's just um, a very rare color in terms of corrector. They always seem to want to do peach or orange or those type of colors, but pink is not a, that easy to find. All right, now I'm going to use the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. The jury is out as to whether it's better to do found, um, concealer before or after your foundation. I don't know. I, I can never make up my mind which way I like best. So I went to the urologist's office yesterday and I brought him that rock or stone that I found in the shower. And I told him why I was giving him a rock from my shower. And uh, he said, ah, hmm, okay. So he opened the container and he looked inside. He said, looks like a kidney stone to me. But he said, we really won't know until we get the tests back from the lab. And he said, it's going to take probably a week for them to do that. And this is going to be the longest week of my life because 
He said, if this comes back, that it's just a rock and it's not a kidney stone, he said, we're go you're going to have to reschedule another appointment and then we're going to have to talk about what we're going to do from there. I said, but I'm not in any pain. And, oh, I didn't tell you what the next product was. Maybelline Superstay 24-hour skin tint in number 112. I've been using this the last few days, and uh, I really like this. It's shocking to me that a skin tint can have this much coverage. Wait till you see. That's how much I've got on the rush to do one half of my face. So when I got there, they asked for a urine sample, and then I had to sit in the in the examination room and wait for them to do the urinalysis, which uh, that kind of amazes me that they can do it that quickly. And he said there were trace amounts of blood in my urine, but he said that's also not that unusual after having had a kidney stone. Sometimes it takes a few days for all that blood to work its way out through your urine. So he said that the amount was, yeah, a trace amount, not anything for concern. Um, now, what I didn't tell him is that I did have a stomach ache yesterday, but I don't think it had anything to do with kidney stones. I think it was what I ate. I've been trying to eat more vegetables because I know they're really good for me and I was always kind of bad about that. Um, because they upset my stomach. So I had a stomach ache all day yesterday. But yeah, I don't think it had anything to do with kidney stones, but who knows? You know, I can't wait to get the results from this lab test to find out if that was just a rock that got tracked into the shower. Like maybe there was a tiny little, teeny tiny little stone on the floor. And then maybe when we stepped in the shower, we transferred it. I don't know, but we can't wait to find out. So if it is a rock and it's not a kidney stone, I have to go back. And if it, if it's a kidney stone, then he said, we can do further tests if you want for this and that. And I said, no, I've done tons of research. I've gone to websites for the National Kidney Foundation, the University of Chicago Kidney Center, and I've read everything that I can get my hands on. And I told him some of the stuff that I learned because he was asking me about my diet. And I told him I'll never eat spinach again because that's right at the top of the list of what's high in oxalates, which can cause, can cause kidney stones. Um, I don't remember putting this on underneath my eyes. I remember putting it on my face, but yeah, I don't think I did this. This is the e.l.f. hydrating camo concealer. Because I'm not really focused on what I'm doing here. So next we are going to do Maybelline Fit Me in shade Fair 05. Now the colors that I'm using today are warm, so I'm using mostly different products than what you normally see me use. With the exception of the blush, I am still going to use that pink blush just because I am trying to use it up. Whoa, I just hit way, way too much powder into the lid. So I'll try to just tap off my brush and 
This is a gorgeous, gorgeous powder, but it's like a um, beige color. And I really like the e.l.f. because it's pink and it goes better with my complexion. Well, we were waiting for the urologist to come into the room. I said, wow, look how pink my skin is because I had a skirt on. And I said, I don't know if it's the lights or if I really am that pink, but yeah, I definitely have a pink cast to my skin. My undertone is definitely pink. I don't want to get my new placemat dirty. I have a placemat on the table in front of me. I think I'm going to have to show this to you because it's so, so cute. Um, all right, I got to move this over. Move all my brushes. I think I told you guys that I like that show for kids called Bluey. This is such a sweet show if you've never seen it. Look at how cute that is. Yeah, I like to put a placemat in front of me on the table because I'm always getting trace amounts of makeup everywhere. So that will protect the tablecloth that I have underneath that, which is just like a striped tablecloth. Nothing special. All right, so the next thing we're going to use is we're going to use the Hard Candy Face Duo. And this is one of those highlight contour sticks in the shade Fair and Light. And this is one of the things that's in my bucket of stuff to use. So we're going to use this. So I really don't need to even contour you guys. My face is so slim now because, of course, when this all started, I thought I was having a diverticulitis attack, so I stopped eating. For two days, I ate nothing, so I lost more weight, not trying to lose weight, not, not developing anorexia or anything like that. I, but I was in severe pain, and I thought that um, I was having a diverticulitis attack. And the best thing to do when you have a diverticulitis attack is not eat anything and just let your colon or your digestive system rest. And then once I realized it was gallbladder, I went back to eating, but I was in so much pain that I d didn't really know what to eat or how much to eat or what was going to aggravate it. And my stomach is still very sensitive right now due to all the pain that I had. Thank you so much, you guys, for all the love and support and comments that I've gotten over the last few videos. You know, sometimes when you put the news on and you see the way people treat each other and the things they do to each other, there's so much hate in the world. And sometimes you feel like, you know, there's no more good people in the world, but you guys have proved otherwise because it's been... Um, really wonderful to have everybody just be so nice because not everybody is nice that's for sure my husband and I went to Walmart the other day to pick up a few things and I was walking by the checkout area where the cashiers are and there were lines because it was busy and there was this woman standing there and she made eye contact with me and she started looking me up and down and she had so much hate in her eyes. And I thought, why are you looking at me like that? You know, I don't know you. You don't know me. Why are you looking at me like you want to kill me? 
and um, there was something about my appearance that really bothered her and I don't know why that is but um, it 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 bothered me even though I don't know this woman and I'll probably never see her again as long as I live oh this is the revolution liquid blush in Dolly Rose that I'm trying to use up this is not really the color blush that I would normally use with the look that I'm doing today but I really want to use this up I find with liquid blushes there's just nothing that works better than your fingers and I thought, what is your problem, lady? And she just continued to stare at me the closer I got to her. And then I just, I tried to, like, stare back at her to make her stop, to make her realize, yeah, I see you. I see what you're doing there. Um, but, yeah, you know, sometimes you read these stories, there's videos online of there's a problem right now with, guys in New York City punching people, just walking up to people and punching them as hard as he can and trying to hurt people. And a lot of people are ending up in the hospital from this. And there was some celebrity, uh, Steve Buscemi, I think, that he was one of the victims. But I saw uh, this video on YouTube where this guy's walking down the sidewalk and he went like this two women were walking on either side of him to go around him and he just punched them both simultaneously one woman he punched in the ch in the chest she just immediately fell to the ground and the other woman i think he punched in the face but it's like the the world has just gone mad i you know people have so much hate and they're just taking it out on random strangers and it's crazy for a highlighter today I haven't used this in a while. It's one of the Ioni highlighters from Dollar Tree. It's called Emma. And I thought this would, it's a gold, but I thought this would go good with uh, what we're doing today for colors. So just going to dust some of that on my, the high points of my cheekbones. I always keep an elastic on these because uh, sometimes they pop open on you. I probably don't need to keep elastics on the ones I have anymore because they've been on there for a while. Okay, now something about this to me screams potential problem. So I'm going to use this Profusion eyeshadow primer that I got in a kit that I bought at Ocean State Job Lot. Um, yeah, it was in that kit, and so I don't have an LA Colors eyeshadow primer. That's just something that you never see at any of the stores that carry LA Colors. I'm going to have to see if I can get one, because I would love to try their eyeshadow primer. I don't think I've ever tried it. All right, I'm just going to dab some of this on the eye area and blend it out. Yeah, I don't know. I just have a feeling that this Jelly Glam metallic eyeshadow could be a problem in terms of moving around or my, you know, migrating as the day goes on. So, if in doubt, use an eyeshadow primer cuz I usually don't if I'm just going to use powder eyeshadows, then um, I don't really need an eyeshadow primer because I don't have a lot of oil in my skin. But yeah, this is just a profusion eyeshadow primer. Okay, uh, before we start doing the eyes, let's do the brows. This is my LA Colors Brow Pencil in Medium. And this is not the one that I got at Dollar General. This is one that I got, hmm, did I get this at uh, Dollar Tree? I'm not really sure, you know, because I buy LA Colors products 
from let's do let's use my monitor here I buy LA Colors products from so many different places that it's hard for me to remember which things that I got where But I like the color match on this one that's pretty close. It's very hard to find cool toned brow products and my brows are like a cool toned brown. They're not blonde, which not mad about that because it must be really tough if you have blonde eyebrows to um it must take forever to fill them in Okay. All right, now what I'm going to do to start for eyeshadows is actually no. No, I'm going to start with the the jelly glam. There's no stopper of any kind in here or a lid or anything, so I would imagine this is going to dry up pretty fast. Now, it's always difficult to know when you have this kind of product, should I use my finger or should I use a brush? Because sometimes these kind of products apply so much better with your fingers. So let's do it. Let's do use my fingers. Oh, wow, that's very, very reflective. That's pretty. It's got a tacky consistency to it. All right, that was not very precise because... Um, because I used my finger, it made it difficult to control exactly where it was going. So before I even go in with the next eyeshadow, I'm gonna have to shut off the camera, get a Q-tip, and clean up the areas where I don't want it to be. So be right back. Yeah, that was too messy to use my finger, so I think I would, I think I'm gonna try it with a brush on the other eye, and we'll see how I make out there. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the LA Colors Eyeshadow Duo in brown. Um, this is just from Dollar Tree. Every once in a while you'll still see a random one of these, but I really, really like the texture of these. So I'm going to go in the crease and the outer part of this. And we're going to go right over this to do the outside part of the lid. So this is, um, I don't know, I, maybe I should have put that powder down first. Because now it's probably going to spread that shimmer all over the brown. I don't know, that's that's working out okay. Wow, is this pigmented? I can't believe this is a 
dollar twenty five eyeshadow. Now the color on this uh, Jelly Glam, I would say it's like a champagne, like um, a beige type of champagne color. All right, let's put that aside for now. Now, in terms of um, brow bone highlight, let's do, let's use a little bit of our face highlight. I do that a lot. Use uh, brow bone highlight and inner corner highlight, whatever I used on my face. It's, you know, that way it all coordinates and it's a powder, so why not? Okay, so did I put the eyeshadow primer on this eye too? Yes, I did. I can tell by the way it feels. All right, on this eye, other eye, um... Oh, I didn't finish. Let's take a small detail brush and pick up a little bit of that brown. And connect it. All right, now on the other eye, let's try something different. Let's go into the brown first. I just want to see which method works better. And that way you'll know too. So we're going to do the outside part of the eye. God, I hope I put eyeshadow primer on this eye. I don't really remember if I did both eyes or not. My memory, since I had the stroke, you guys, is so bad. Uh, if you're just finding my channel, I had a stroke last year. And yeah, my memory is so bad. It's hard for me to remember like little things. If something is really important now, or even moderately important, I write it on a piece of paper and then put the paper where I'm going to see it so that I can remember. That's like when I was talking to the urologist yesterday, and we were talking about oxalates in food. I said, yeah, I don't eat spinach anymore or nuts, and I used to eat spinach or nuts every single day. And I said, I also noticed that something else was high in oxalates that surprised me and I could not remember what it was and my husband came in the room with me and I said honey do you remember what it was he said no idea but when I got home I was like chocolate chocolate is high in oxalates and it's funny because I always hated chocolate when I was a kid I would only eat white chocolate and now that I'm older I do like regular chocolate. And um, I had just bought, before this happened, I bought a box of cereal that was peanut butter and dark chocolate. And now I can't eat it. And my husband doesn't eat cold cereal. And it was uh, expensive, too, because we went to... Whole Foods, which we never shop at that store.
I was really looking forward to trying it, but I don't know. Kind of afraid of anything that's high in oxalates, so it's a double whammy because it's nut butter and chocolate together. Oh boy. Okay, so now let's try to do this with a brush with the jelly glam. I know these don't match, but I'll try to fix them after. It won't pick up on the brush, you guys. It doesn't want to adhere to the brush. Oh boy. Okay, I got a little bit of it to get on there. You know, I don't remember using this in a video, but I don't know, did I? Do you guys remember if I used this yet? Because that I just got a sense of deja vu when I did that with the brush. Okay, in terms of getting this way you want it to go, the brush makes it easier for that. It's just getting it on the brush. Wow, is that reflective? That's really pretty. Okay, um, now the other eye. And then I do want a little bit in the outer part of this eye so that this is all blended together for like dimension. All right, and then we gotta do under this eye. So I'm going to go to the store today and I'm going to buy some things that are lower in oxalates and I'm also going to buy some vegetables that are easier to digest because man, oh my god, yesterday I had mixed vegetables with my lunch and then I had peas with my supper and it was brutal. My stomach hurt so much. So I was looking up online last night what vegetables are easy to digest that are also lower in oxalates. So I'm going to get some uh, squash, which I love, and I used to hate that when I was a kid, but I love it now. And I'm going to get some lettuce which is great because I've been doing like apple cider vinegar because I had read that it can shrink or break up uh, kidney stones. So I don't know if I still have one or not. So I've been trying to incorporate some apple cider vinegar All right, that's pretty even, right? But I, because I didn't eat for two days recently, I've lost weight and I'm way too skinny now. Like this is the skinniest I've ever been in my adult life. I am down to 129 and I'm tall, I'm 5'7". So that's way too low, I think, for me. Um, so I was trying to figure out what I could buy that was like caloric that would help me gain. Just, I don't want to gain a lot of weight, but I want to gain a little bit 
And now my cholesterol is super low right now, like bordering on dangerous. So I was thinking maybe I'd get some ice cream because I normally don't eat ice cream because, you know, it's not really healthy and it's high in calories and cholesterol. But if I'm trying to gain weight, but then I was like, well, what kind of ice cream can I get? Because normally I would get ice cream that had nuts in it or chocolate. Can't have either one of those things. So, And vanilla is kind of boring. I mean, it's good, but it's kind of boring. So maybe what I'll do is maybe I will... Um, put some fruit in the ice cream to make it a little more interesting because I like like chunks of stuff in my ice cream. I don't like just plain ice cream. So yeah, maybe I'll get some vanilla ice cream and I'll put some strawberries and blueberries in it or something. That would be that would be good. Because I usually don't indulge in things like that. Okay, I'm gonna have to use my Jeffrey Star mirror here. He had some mystery boxes recently, but I'm going to have probably thousands of dollars worth of bills now from my little trip to the emergency room and going to the urologists and they did all kinds of tests on me at the hospitals. And, you know, I do have insurance, but the insurance we have never pays even close to the final amount. We have um, a huge deductible, which I'm sure we've already met this year. But um, we're going to have some big bills coming. So where was I going with this? Why was I talking about See what I mean? I just, I lose my train of thought. This video reminds me of this person I used to watch years and years ago where she would do her makeup, but she would just talk about like her life and stuff. And I enjoyed those videos. Because it humanizes the person, you know, when they talk about things like that. Because most videos are so, like, edited and slick and... But then that doesn't give you any insight into the person as a person. I don't like videos to be too, too long either. I'm looking at the clock and we got to wrap this up because the video is getting long. All right, so what does that leave? That leaves my lips, right? So we're going to use the LA Colors Gel Lip Liner in Rosé all day. These lip liners are so awesome, you guys. They sell them at Walmart and... If your Walmart doesn't carry them, you can always just order from LA Colors website. I placed an order recently and had a very good experience. I had no issues with shipping. No problems. And I had to call their website before I placed the order because I had a question and the lady that I talked to was so nice and um, yeah so this is the hard candy it's a tinted lip balm they sell these at Walmart um, the shade is called my type Wow, that, that lip liner I used is a perfect match for this, and it's not even the same brand. 
All right, so that is the final look. Now, so what did we learn from this? Yeah, use a brush to apply these jelly glams. You're going to get much better placement, and then you won't have to do cleanup like I did. And also, do your powder eyeshadow before you go in with this, and then you don't have to worry about spreading the metallic cream eyeshadow all into your um matte color if that's if that's what you're doing you know so i like it i just think that this is going to dry up super fast because they didn't put any kind of a stopper or anything in there so that's unfortunate but uh, I like it. I think it's really pretty. I like how light reflective it is. And it seems like the eye that, um, hmm, yeah, the eye I started with is not as reflective. And I think it's because I sheared it out too much with my finger. But anyways, thanks for watching, you guys. I love you. <laughs> um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.